Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. I have put all my supplies down in the description box and most of them have links to them. So go check that out. Now we're doing only two roses. So hang with me with this short video and I will show you a big one and I'll show you a little one. They each have their little bit of different looks to them. So hang with me. Now on this big one, I've put a large puddle of alcohol down. I've put my color on here and I'm just kind of getting it swooshed around. Then I'll take the dryer and I'll start doing my angles. Now when I do the angles, I'm not just doing a circle. That's a really cool look and I like that, but what I'm wanting it to look more like petals, uneven lines, like you're looking down on a flower. So what I do is I'm, I'm getting the outside dry. I'm setting that down and then I start coming at it like at the different angles, like if you're making a square. So I'll come at it from north, and then I'll come at it from the west, and then I'll come at it from the south. And so that creates different shapes. So all your lines aren't parallel with each other. So it gives you more of a realistic looking flower. Apparently, he had something to add to that. I don't know what. <laughs> but see here, I keep going in on it and getting little bits dry. And it takes a little time, a little practice, but after a couple flowers, you'll have this. It'll be great. And see how the lines aren't parallel, they're not even with each other. So it just gives it a more realistic look. So I've gotten to the end of the flower and I am very happy with how this one turns out. Now here I've got one, um, a little one off to the side. I've put my alcohol down, I've put my ink on top of it, and I've put quite a bit of ink because you, you do want the darker lines and you want enough ink to last so you can get the whole flower done. If not, like I say, add some more alcohol, add some more ink to the center when you run out. But here you can tell I'm going from side to side. I'm not doing a circle. And I want to leave it long enough to get a portion of it dried and then go to a different area and keep working around the whole flower like that. I didn't like this center, so I added more alcohol and started reworking it.
Now, that turned out great. So I hope this gave you some good ideas that you can go play with. And y'all go have fun.